Daylight saving time ends this weekend, meaning that we turn back our clocks one hour when the clock strikes 2 a.m. on Sunday. KSBY News reporter Kimberly Cruz tells us why this is an ongoing debate. In 2018, California residents voted to allow lawmakers to decide whether to get rid of daylight saving time. But starting Sunday, you'll have to push back your clock by one hour. It's that time of year when the debate over daylight saving time starts up again. It's been three years since California voters gave state lawmakers the power to get rid of the time change. But we're still waiting for a two-thirds vote in the state legislature and permission from the federal government. Some residents say eliminating the time change completely would be the answer. Um, I think, you know, getting an hour tonight's cool, but, um, you know, come spring we lose an hour. And I'm tired and groggy, you know. Uh, I think it's time that they act and get rid of it once and for all. Others say losing an hour of sunlight affects their everyday personal life. For women's safety or anybody's safety, I feel like it's dangerous at night. Like when you get out of work, it's like completely dark outside and it's like sketchy. So I personally don't like it. But it's not only adults who have to adjust to a new schedule. Children are affected by the time change as well. It is notoriously a tough time because children's schedule really uh, is pretty set and then to disrupt it every six months in terms of sleeping times makes a big difference. For now, California will continue to change the clocks twice a year until federal government approves a permanent switch. In San Luis Obispo, Kimberly Cruz, KSBY News. The only states that do not take part in daylight saving time are Hawaii and Arizona. They are on permanent standard time.